Hello, I'm Steven Snake, you can Lindsay of Gamer Station here, and today I'm going to tell you how to add menu choices to your menu. Now, I'm going to say this, it does involve scripting, but don't fret about it because it's not that hard, especially if you watch this video. So, we're going to open up a game and show you what I mean. So, as we can see, there's a new choice here called Journal. And what will happen is, whenever the player selects that, it'll call up a script called KGC's outline, which is what this is. So this is a great convenient way to get to the script and call it up instead of having to have an event somewhere that the player has to find and remember so that they can get this script to be called up. So I'm going to show you this little tutorial game that I created to show you what happens when, well, you don't have that many choice. What would happen and what you would end up having to do. So we're going to start the game, of course. Otherwise, we won't be able to show it. Here's a journal update. Thanks. So as we can see in the menu, there's no journal entry there. So what we got to do is the player would eventually have to go to this event that's right beside him, which is the journal, and that would open up the journal. So depending on what type of game you want, depends on what you need to do for this. If you plan on having a need for almost all the time, then yeah, having it in the menu is going to help, but if it's really far and few between, then maybe have it like this. It's always up to what type of game you're having in your audience. So we're going to go up to the script editor, and we're going to go down to scenes and go to scene menu. And then we're going to go down some till we get to create command window. And as we see, there's several lines of S numbers. So we're going to create a new line, and we're going to name it the next one, which is S7. And then we're going to put in text, which is for mine, journal. It can be anything for yours, whatever script you're using. So it always has to be in quotations also. And then in this little area over here, we got to add the S number over there as well. So we're going to go down to this area, and we're going to copy the very last line like I am. So we're going to paste it, and then we're going to change that 5 to a 6 because... It's the next one in line, obviously, so we need a higher number. So delete everything, not, nothing more, nothing less. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our script right now that we want the main choice to be able to call up, which for me is KGC's outline, and we're going to search for dot .new. Now, I will say that not all scripts can be called up because they don't have to be called up, or you may find several dot .new things in here, like, for instance sound effects we're finding. So we need to find one that is actually the script and hopefully it'll tell you that's what it does. It calls it, which this one it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the part that is attached to the dot new. And then we go back to scene menu and we're going to paste it in the area that we deleted. So believe it or not, that's everything you have to do. And we're going to show you what it looks like. Now I will say that you can rearrange it, but because of the length of time for this tutorial, uh, it was just a lot easier to do it that way, and that's why it'd be less confusing for everyone else. So as we see in this journal, or I mean the menu, the journal is in there. So the script works, or our scripting works. So hopefully this helped you if you've been wanting to know how to do this. Uh, if it didn't, please leave a comment. I'll try to help you, or PM me. I'll try to help you in any way I can. And if it did help you, please also leave a comment so I know, because... Like I always say, I like knowing if I helped or not because that's the point of me doing these.